for many of us, it's when I have more time. You know, if I had more time. Maybe if I had more time. Maybe if I didn't have a day job. Maybe if I... There's always something in the middle. There's always something in the middle. It prevents you from, from fully accepting. There's always something in the middle. And it, it, and it, it continues to bother the artist. The artist is one of the most tormented people. And they, I'm talking about not an artist as a painter, but a, a, as a creative. As a creative. He's one of the most tormented people. That's why there, there, there's, there's truth to that story, right? Of the artist, the misunderstood artist and, and whatnot. And, and the truth is that the artist is looking to satisfy a need that is already inside that never left but the artist continues to try to satisfy that need in an exterior through through the painting but what the artist doesn't know is that as the artist tries to satisfy that need the artist is learning through painting that there is nothing to satisfy And that painting is just an exercise to embrace yourself. That's really what painting is. It's an exercise to embrace yourself. And the, and the people that love a painting recognize that. People that love a painting can recognize that. They can see that. Like people that there's people that love love artists, love paintings, they can they can sense that they don't know why they love it. I love I love seeing artwork. I love I love visiting museums. I love paintings. They recognize that. They can see that. They can see the the it's like naturally looking at a diamond, right? That people say, oh diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. It's it's a new thing. No, the marketing of them is a new thing. Diamonds is not a new thing. People have always loved shiny objects. Especially diamonds, gold. They have always loved them. Because it took a shitload of pressure to create it. And human beings recognize that. That through pain, beauty comes out of. It looks that way. It doesn't, it doesn't really come out of the pain, but it looks that way. And human beings love diamonds for that reason. We see a diamond and then we go bananas, right? Not because of the value, but because of the of the effort that it took to create. It was an effort. It was an immense amount of effort that created the diamond. So people love that. Because we see ourselves there. One of my one of my best um, one of the best moments that I that I had when I was growing up is is when I when I started seeing the growing up in Mexico I used to go to the church with my mom all the time she used to take me to, to Catholic mass right and, and to these huge cathedrals and you would see the angels and the saints and and Jesus was always somewhere out there it looks like he had the worst time right someone just just beat the hell out of him right and, and not literally right but, but that's what it looked like right someone just kicked his butt really bad and then and then nailed him to a cross just in case he, he didn't had enough and um and as a kid i was looking at that and i and i and i always had this sense of poor guy man like what the hell happened to you you know and and that always stuck with me right that that imagery because it in in Latin American countries, uh, because of you know, because of the influence of Spain, there's a lot of Catholicism, and and and, and you can see uh, a lot of the imagery is very, is very, uh, very uh, bloody, right? A lot of the imagery is very bloody, it's very vivid, right? And and so watching those things when I was a kid was was very impactful. And then later on, I was, I remember reading a book, and this uh, this man had written that one of the reasons why we fall um, 
not fall, but we 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 uh, we feel not. I wasn't looking for the word fall, but feel so compelled with this image, right? For for Western, right? For Western civilization, um, with this image of the suffering Christ and the cross is because um, because we too feel that way inside, nailed to a cross from time to time, right? We we find ourselves. We we find ourselves in that in that image, that image. That image also represents humanity. Right? That image of feeling stuck, almost, almost as if you're nailed to a cross. Whether it's a feeling, or you know, whatever, it's always a feeling. Right? It's a thought that became a feeling. And that hopelessness of I can't move from this. When will I move from this job, from this marriage, from this problem? From this illness, I feel I feel I feel nailed to a cross. And when I was reading that, it just I just you know I remembered all the all the times that I that I was looking at at, at, the, at the image of you know the, the small statues and the images of Jesus, um, just beat up you know just completely beat up on a cross and. And as you're growing up, you start realizing that, that life does kick the shit out of you, you know? And, and, and some people that are older say, wait, right? It's not over yet. <laughs> and then that's, that's the, you know, some people that are older are like, just, you, you just wait, you're barely getting started, right? And, and, and people that are younger are like, what are you talking about? Life kicks your ass, right? And, and so, so there's this, there's this, uh, this thing in life, right, that, that just is uh, a recognition of humanity that life can feel sour at times, can feel very sour, very, very sour, and, and also it's beautiful, right, and it's also beautiful. And I, I, I believe as, as painters, as artists, we think we're looking for ourselves in a painting. We're looking for that, that joy, because joy is, joy, when you find joy, you have found you. You have joy, you have found you. Joy emanates from within. It's in, it's in you already. It's always been in you, has never left you. It, it emanates from within. It just, it just gets, silent with all the chatter in our minds but it's there all the time it's always there and so so we think we're we're finding ourselves through a painting but really you're not what you're doing is you're you're cutting the noise through the act of painting just like an athlete does it through the practice of a, a baseball or a basketball or bike riding or whatever they 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 they're able to tap into that joy, true joy, right? The one that has no, you don't even know why you feel that joy, the one that surpasses understanding. You have no idea why, where it comes from, and you don't even want to think about it because you're afraid that if you start thinking about it, it's going to go away, so you just enjoy it for what it is. You feel like if I start thinking about what this is, and then I'm going to start thinking about my problems, and then it's going to go away. So fuck that. I don't want to think about it. I just want to enjoy it. You know? And, and so I think that that's why, as artists, we constantly look for the, for the next thing, right? The next brushstroke, the next painting, the next thing I'm going to learn, because I'm, I'm looking to find myself outside of, of, of who I am, but, but I, I, I shit you not. You cannot. You can never find yourself outside of you. I don't believe that. What you're looking for has always been staring right back at you. You just have to silence it a little bit, silence your mind a little bit. And in, in painting, that's what I've learned. Painting has been a long retreat for me. Painting has been. A very 
a very difficult and very rewarding retreat. That has taught me to accept every brush stroke. If I can accept every brush stroke, then I can accept me in in every brush stroke. Right? I'm okay with me in every brush stroke. I'm not fighting it. I don't want it to be different. I applaud the fact that it's not perfect. Because it doesn't have to be. I'm, I'm okay with the way it is. That's that's fine. I'm okay with the speed in which I paint, and I'm okay with with whatever else shows up as I'm painting. Because I'm not looking for myself in the painting. I'm looking for myself through the painting, not in the painting. It's through the painting. The painting is glass. It's not a reflection of me. I'm looking through it, right through it. And I, th I think that, that that is something that is, is, is worth a practice. It's worth, it's worth looking into. And anything, right? Washing dishes, washing your car, changing the oil of your car, whatever you do, anything is a... Uh, is a doorway. Is a doorway. Anything that you do is a doorway. Because you want nothing from it. The moment you stop wanting something from it, maybe you found the door. The moment you